Okay, this video I'm going to talk about um, types of reactions. There are five basic types of reactions that we need to know um, in high school chemistry. You have synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and combustion. Um, I have for you just some very generic breakdowns of these um, written as just A and B. Um, a would be an element, B would be an element, and then AB would be a compound. <clears throat> so the thing about each one of these is to be able to identify what you have. So if you have a synthesis reaction, I have out here to the side, that you will have one product. So when you see that it makes one end um, something, you have a synthesis reaction. So when I look at this example right here, I see, I see first of all the plus sign. The plus sign tells me that I have two reactants. Over here on this side, this is my product side, I only see one thing. There's, there's no plus sign, there's nothing else over here. There's one product. What that tells me is that that is a synthesis equation. Um, decomposition is the reverse of that. It is one reactant, it is one thing breaking down and becoming more. Same, same way I did it for the first one, like I see no pluses over here, I see one compound right here. And then on the product side, I see that it broke down into two products. So very simply, when you have decomposition, you've got one thing becoming more. Single replacement or single displacement, you always have a single element in a compound on both sides. So for example, in this one, I have a single element of lithium, the compound of magnesium oxide. On the product side, I have a new compound and a different element. Because what happened with single displacement is that my two metals in this particular case switched places. So if you have a single element that is a metal, it has to switch place with this metal right here. So in other words, the lithium went in and took magne magnesium's place with the oxygen, and then magnesium came out by itself. And you can see that on this side. Another way for single displacements or single replacements to happen is you can actually have two nonmetals switching places. In this particular case, chlorine is by itself. Um, oxygen is in the compound. So I have to switch two of the same things. I can't switch chlorine out with sodium. I have to switch a nonmetal with a nonmetal. So chlorine went in and took oxygen's place, and oxygen came out to be by itself on this side. When you have a double replacement, um, what you have and how you know that you have a double replacement is that you have compounds, two compounds on either side. So in this example, I've got um, hydrogen chloride or hydrochloric acid plus sodium hydroxide. I see the plus sign. That tells me that I have two different compound or two different substances at least. Looking at it, how I know that it's a compound and not an element is I see two two different chemical symbols. Um, capital letters is an easy way to recognize this. When I see a capital H and a capital C, I know that I've got two two different symbols there together, so it's a compound. I see the same thing here. This one actually has three, but here's capital N, capital O, capital H. That means that's a compound. So compound, compound, making a compound and a compound. How a double replacement happens is basically the same way as a single. Two of the same thing has to switch places. So for example, in this one, they each have a cation. So what happens is the cations trade places, and you can also look at it as the anions trade places as well. I prefer to just go about it one way, like metal switches with metal, and that's how I proceed with all of my double replacements. Same, here's another example, same thing with it. I've got potassium sulfide and magnesium chloride going together. Well, the potassium and the magnesium, they just did a little switcheroo so that potassium ended up with chlorine and magnesium ended up with sulfur. But I have two compounds making two new compounds. The last type of reaction that we have is combustion. And combustion, I told you the clue, is that there's always a hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon means something with hydrogen and something with carbon. Um, and, it, and it also has oxygen going in. It makes carbon dioxide and water. Now this one is really scripted for you. This right here that's underlined, that hyd the hydrocarbon is the only thing that can change. It always has to be oxygen making carbon dioxide and water. So here's two examples. This first one is methane, CH4. If you add oxygen, it'll make carbon dioxide and water. See, all of this part is exactly the same. This is the only thing up for debate. Here's another example. This is glucose. 
um, I wanted to use it because sometimes you have an oxygen with the hydrocarbon and that that's fine that doesn't change anything it's still a hydrocarbon it's got hydrogen and carbon so glucose if you add oxygen to it will also burn to produce carbon dioxide and water the only thing that's up for debate is the hydrocarbon now with all of these they all are very straightforward and all of them will happen all of the time except for single replacement reactions and I have a couple of words down below about how you determine if a single replacement reaction will happen or not it says right here that the most reactive metal will be in the compound so for example if we were to cover up the right hand side and look at the left um, right now lithium is by itself and magnesium is in the compound it's with the oxygen um, the most reactive of those two wants to be in the compound more reactive means less stable the more reactive an element is the less stable it is by itself so basically it makes itself more stable by being in the compound there's lots of explanation that could go into this but basically satisfying the octet rule makes it a more stable thing and it does that by being the compound how you determine stability is we have a reference table that has a, it's called an activity series. You have an activity series of the halogens and you have an activity series of the metals. What we do is we find those on here. So for example, if we're looking at lithium and magnesium, lithium is up at the very top. It is the most active metal. That means it's the most unstable. Magnesium is a little further down the list. Um, whoever is the highest on the list wins the partner. They win the compound. Well lithium's higher it gets to be with oxygen since it's not with oxygen over here on this side it will go through with the other side of the equation and you it will go with oxygen and magnesium will come out by itself we do the same exact thing with the nonmetals, except you just have to look up here at the halogens so for example with this one chlorine is out by itself um, oxygen is with the with the Na. Well, the, the halogens are more reactive. They are less stable than anything else. Um, oxygen isn't on this list, and since chlorine is, that means chlorine is going to get to go with the sodium. So chlorine will, will step in and switch places, making sodium chloride, and oxygen will get booted out by itself. If you happen to see one that is a double replacement, um, for example, if I had um, sodium fluoride, oops, I'm writing in the wrong place. If I had sodium fluoride and we added chlorine to it, and I look at my activity series, um, okay, fluorine, sorry, I'm doing this during my plan and there's class changing. Um, I've got fluorine is more reactive than chlorine. What that means is fluorine wins the compound. Well, it's already in it. Like it's already got the compound. So what we would end up with this one is simply no reaction. Like it just, it doesn't happen. It won't take place. So I'm gonna work some practice problems in a different video to make this a little bit shorter where we're gonna predict the products. So what you're gonna have with predicting of the products is we're gonna have the left side and we're gonna work to figure out what the right side is. So if you'd like more about how to do this with only one part of it, then check out the predicting products. Um, video.